Well, climate change and the impact it will have on the planet is no joke. And tonight, there's a stark new warning about what's to come. The latest report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says global warming is driving weather to new levels of extremes. The scientists say food shortages and civil unrest are almost inevitable in the decades to come. And as Mike Drolet reports, we're not doing nearly enough to prepare for it. The spring thaw has finally arrived in Toronto. It was a winter of extremes. Lots of snow laced with a bitter cold, accentuated in southern Ontario by a brutal ice storm. And now a UN report says those extremes will become the norm, with climate change advancing faster than previously reported. We will see more extremes. They will occur more frequently and they're likely to be more severe. In the last year alone, we've seen extremes across the spectrum, from wildfires and drought in Australia to Typhoon Haiyan ripping through Southeast Asia to devastating flooding in Calgary. Uh, I'm deeply alarmed by fast-moving glaciers and fast-melting ice caps. The loss of coastal ice and subsequent sea level rise is already forcing some communities in places like Greenland to relocate. There's a possibility now that we will see an ice-free Arctic in the summer within the next decade or so. Uh, previously, we were saying that wouldn't happen until the end of the century. The impact in Canada will be dramatic as well. The permafrost will melt in the Arctic. Wheat and corn crops will initially thrive but will eventually suffer. Wildfire risks will increase coast to coast and all the occasional river and coastal flooding will become all too common. We asked for an interview with Canada's Environment Minister to defend her government's record, which was declined. In question period, critics attacked Leona Aglukak for sticking to her talking points. Our government is committed to protecting the environment while keeping the Canadian economy strong since 2006. We're not doing enough. This government um, is pretending to do things well. What they're really doing is trying to expand the source of emissions, which of course is fossil fuels. The 2,600-page report paints a bleak picture with worldwide consequences. As populations rise, they're predicting more conflict over food as resources dry up. And the longer we delay attacking the problems, it says, the more expensive it will be to fix them. But then again, scientists have been saying that for decades. Mike Trollet, Global News Toronto.